More reaction now to what we heard from the president last night. Over 50,000 new COVID-19 cases have been reported since Christmas Eve. Last night, President Sol Ramaphosa announced new COVID-19 regulations and moved the country back to lockdown level three. Well, let's get some reaction from a member of the ministerial advisory panel, Ashwin Trikimji, is also president of the South African Hindu Mahasabha and is in touch with other religious and community leaders as well. Ashwin, a very good morning to you and thanks so much for your time this morning. So just very quickly, are you satisfied as a community, as a religious leader with what we heard from the president last night, especially when it comes to gatherings, except for funerals as well. We know those have to happen, but of course we're looking at things like, uh, like weddings that, that won't be allowed to happen for the next two weeks. Yeah. Good morning to you, uh, Rebecca, and to the viewers. Yes, uh, I am. I must admit that I'm satisfied. I would have preferred a harsher, harsher lockdown, but uh, given the demands that are facing the country, the uh, level three lockdown, for my, to my mind, is, is, is very, very effective because from a religious point of view, all these gatherings, especially the weddings and celebrations, will no longer be permitted. Funerals, of course, have to be conducted. We've got no choice. So, yes, I'm very happy. All right, well, you know, being from KZN and, and also looking at just some concerns around the various communities, you know, and we know that uh, we, we have communities where, where they, they, are, they are quite um, insular, they, you know, communities, different race groups reside in different communities there because of just historically so where they are. What are the behaviors that are concerning you and other religious and community leaders as well about what we're seeing happening in these various pockets? I think that I share the views of all my colleagues in the religious community and as a community leader as well, that the attitude of society, you know, there seems to be this, this feeling now that once the level five down to four, three, two, one, and when we came down to level one, it was all over now and we can carry on no more. And, you know, you find people are not wearing masks anymore. People are not social distancing anymore. People are having social gatherings, uh, people are attending parties and so on without any kind of an observance of protocol. And that to me is almost gross recklessness on the part of society. And something serious had to be done. As, you know, as a religious leader, we were concerned with the alarming rates at which the infections were, were increasing. Mm -hmm. But more, and, and, and another feature of this particular virus now, and it's second wave, is that there is no longer a distinction between elderly people or, or otherwise. It's infecting everyone. So yes, uh, we are concerned. And uh, I, I am hopeful, like everybody else in South Africa, I'm sure I share the view of all South Africans that level three lockdown now is going to help us to arrest mm -hmm. the resurgence and more importantly, to get back to responsible behavior. Mm. Well, Ashwin, we're also seeing lots of concerns, worry coming over the, the, the situation at crematoriums, uh, especially there in KZN. We know many communities there cremate, they don't bury as well. Uh, what are you hearing at the moment and, and how, do you, how, how, how does a situation like that actually be um, sort of dealt with? Well, I must admit that with regard to crematoriums, our communities have, have been very, very responsible. You know, with COVID-19 funeral, there's a very strict protocol. And the undertakers are, are obliged to ensure that those protocols are observed. The crematoriums observe that, that extremely well. And with the other funerals, you know, the restriction to numbers, only 20 people, uh, is being observed, in our view, quite responsibly. So when it comes to cremation, we have had a very, very positive, responsible behavioral pattern from our community. But in, in terms of the crematoriums actually uh, being able to cope with the number, especially with, with, with the number of COVID deaths in KZN, it's particularly bad there as well, one of those provinces that we have to watch uh, uh, as well. Um, and crematoriums, we're hearing, not being able to cope with the, the number of, of services that have to be performed there. What's happening there at the moment? What are you hearing? Well, that, is, that, that unfortunately is a fact. I mean, last week, I'm aware of the one, one day, there were 23 cremations on one day only. And at the moment, for a for a uh, COVID uh, COVID uh, cremation, you have to wait uh, two to three days, and sometimes four days before you are actually given given a time slot when you could, you can proceed with the cremation. 
So yes, the the crematorium is being overworked, overwhelmed, if I may. Mm. Well, uh, Ashwin, you're also a, a member of the Ministerial Advisory Panel. What, uh, what can you tell us, if anything, about the delay? Lots of concerns about the delay in acquiring the vaccine here in South Africa, now being told the, the second quarter of next year is when we can expect it. Any idea why? What's happened? Well, you know, we can only go by what we've been told. Uh, we were told that there was a procedure that had to be followed and that that procedure has been followed and uh, we've now been told that, yes, uh, the vaccines are going to be available in the first, uh, at the end of the first quarter of next year, which is the same, beginning of the second quarter. I think that is as far as, that is as far as the information we have. We don't have any further information with regard to the, the rolling out of the vaccine, uh, other than what mm. we've all heard. All right, Ashwin Trikimji, thank you so much for your time. Just uh, uh, sending the message out once again that communities, wherever you are, whatever your religion, race, creed, color, that we all need to start playing the game because we know COVID does not discriminate. You need to do your part as well. well